So one of my favorite ways to play the game has honestly been as a melee main. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but dude, I just love sitting back, watching a movie, and just constantly punching people in the face. But there is a fighting style that I have not yet gotten to try out, guys, and that has to be the dragon style. I know it sounds sick because it's gonna be sick, guys. Now, guys, I started looking into how to get my hands on this, uh, you know, this fighting style because, you know, pretty early on, I actually ran into Sabo. He's the guy that will, that will teach you it, and I just couldn't figure it out. Like, how the heck do I, do, I, do I get this? Every single time I would talk to him, it would tell me this. Hello? Go away. Sabo, I'm your brother. What is wrong with you? But yeah, guys, after a little bit of research, I think I figured it out on how I can actually get my hands on it. So pretty much for as long as we have the Christmas update, it shouldn't actually be all too hard to get your hands on it. Because what you can actually do is you can trade your candies for fragments. But I don't really recommend this because uh, it only, you, you know, you need to get, let me tell you right now, you need a thousand 500 fragments which is i mean it's not that bad i think it's like 250 yeah it's about 250 candies which is not that bad obviously i don't even have enough right now i already have about 500 fragments though but what i'm gonna do instead i'm gonna do it the boring way guys i'm just gonna buy myself some of these fragments because why not man i just want to try out this fighting style because it just looks like a ton of fun so now that we have 2600 fragments i hope that if i now go to him he will actually let me buy it and he will just blow me up and tell me to get out of here hello yes Yes! I'd be willing to teach you the dragon fighting style for a thousand five hundred fragments. Interested? Yes! Give it to me, buddy. So yeah, guys, we now have unlocked the dragon fighting style. Oh my god, dude, this is gonna be sick! So yeah, actually, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna first things first, refund all of my stat points. Because honestly, the way I've been like grinding and just completely like, you know, this, this is like my main build that I've been using. I use 2,199 melee, which is maximum, a total of 2,200. And I just put all of my other points into defense like that. And like, guys, usually I have the, the light fruit equipped. So that way I can just kind of quickly fly around the map like this. But yeah, guys, this has been my primary build for grinding. And dude, I'm going to show you today why I think it's honestly one of the best. So yeah, guys, currently I'm level 983, which means that the um the place I've been grinding is over here. <laughs> all right, baby, we made it. All right, so let me actually set my spawn point here. Let me reset character. And let's try out our brand new fighting style. Now, guys, the levels on this are just bonkers. Like, what? Oh my god, dude. Holy crap. Dude, that doesn't... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that does a ton of damage. Dude, this is great. I love it already. So yeah, guys, as you can see, the levels on this are actually pretty crazy. 100, 200, and 300. Dude, look at all the levels coming in, though. This is great. All right, now, obviously, I need to activate one of the quests before I start doing this. You know, before I start just pummeling people, I need to actually activate a quest. <laughs> I just got to be carried away there, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Hey, wait, what does the elf hat do? I bought the elf hat on accident, by the way. Like, I don't know. I might as well check it out, right? I'm wearing it right now. Got a little elf hat going on. You know, it's nice and cute. This is a very, very strong fighting style. I can already tell because usually I use Fishman Karate and it is not this strong. <laughs> so guys, the main reason I've been grinding like this has just been because it's like so much easier. You know, you just kind of go back and forth and every single enemy you come across, you just completely pummel them. Bang, bang, bang. Oh my God, dude, we're already up to level 99 with our mastery. I'm really curious what Dragon Rush is going to do. I haven't seen anything about this fruit. Three, two, one. Eh. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. All right, let's try it out. Bang! Oh my god, dude, that does a ton of damage. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. And let's start killing some vampires because, you know, this is the next area. I might as well at that point, you know? Vampires are 975. Okay. Now, guys, who knows? Maybe by the end of this video, we can fully unlock the dragon breath PvP, whatever fighting style, dude. That would be sick. Now, guys, one thing that I'm actually kind of noticing that is quite nice is that when I'm just punching, these guys can't even get near me. There's not many fighting styles that can do that. The knockback is really nice. Now, guys, I also heard that there is some kind of secret fighting style when you actually level every single other fighting style to level 300, which is really high. So I, I might have to see if I can do that, but... Uh... <laughs> That would definitely be a task on its own, man. That would be something. <laughs> Guys, after some thinking, I think that there's actually a way that I could make this whole fighting style a whole lot stronger. And that is if I pair it up with the right accessory. Because some accessories will literally do like plus 50% damage on your melee and stuff like that. Like, it's bonkers. Let me actually give that a try. So wait, first things first, let's figure out what the elf hat does. Because I don't even know what it does. <laughs> 20% faster run speed, 10% more damage on melee and sword, 5% cooldown reduction on melee and sword. What? That's actually really good. I didn't realize that the, the elf hat was actually that good. 
<laughs> now let's actually see, because recently I got the Warrior's Helmet. I'm pretty sure that one's actually really good as well. 12.5% more damage on melee. 5% cooldown reduction. Okay, so the, the elf head's, like, I think a bit better. Yeah. All right, guys. So ironically, I think the accessory that I actually had with me is the best one I own. <laughs> So actually, I'm going to take back the elf hat. And yeah, that gives me like a ton of extra damage. It's actually really good. Yeah, dude, this is, I can already feel it. This is this is stronger. This is nice. All right, guys. So we're already up to level or mastery level 150 with it. So I got to be honest with you. So far, I'm really, really liking it. I mean, obviously, it's by far the most expensive and high-end one that I've had so far. But dude, it just it's just like very easy to keep these guys away from me. I mean, look at this. They're not even like, getting anywhere near me. And like, I mean, I know I have my Loja like equipped. Can they hit me right now? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. They can hit me. It's just because of the fruit like they were not fruit. It's, i keep saying fruit it's just because of the fighting style they're literally not able to get close enough to me to actually hit me enough like this is really great as i die <laughs> okay guys don't worry about it man oh my god i'm only four levels away from a thousand dude a thousand that's a big milestone man i wonder what things i'm gonna be able to do when i reach level thousand like i feel like there must be at least some crazy things that i wasn't able to do before right yes we've made it baby oh my god we got a new title the adventurer all right so that's what you get for level a thousand i guess so Let's see. What is the next area I can actually go to? Like, I assume it's the closest one by. So there's the ship. Is there anything else around? There's Punk Hazard over there. I think we can't go to Punk Hazard quite Oh, there's a secret guy. I've never seen this guy. It's Rip Indra. Hi, X. I'm busy. You're literally standing here in the middle of nowhere on a bloody rock. What do you mean you're busy, you idiot? <laughs> All right, let's actually go to the, the ship then. All right, so yeah, guys, there's this area right here, which is kind of strange because there's really no other place like it where there's just this giant boat. So oh, wait, I wasn't able to go in here before. Four. Oh, set spawn point. Okay, okay, okay. So what is this area? Crew quest giver. That is a tongue twister right there. Holy crap. Ship deckhand. What? You need 1,250? Oh my God, the XP. Wait, so why am I able to enter this now? I wasn't able to enter this before, I don't think. Oh my God, wait, where am I? Oh my God, what is this? I literally cannot see right now. Ship engineer. Oh my God, these guys are really high level. Dude, this place is so dark. It's literally impossible to see. Let's see if I can kill these guys. Yeah, I can take these guys on. Oh my God, man, I could easily take these guys on if i wanted to you know sometimes i think to myself you know looking and using my eyes it's nice and i think about that when i'm in like a place like this where it's literally impossible to see wait what is this master of enhancement you found me my enhancement ability is not strong enough i don't really use enhancement all that much oh my god dude this is a cool place oh my god wait i can actually collect acto ectoplasm from these guys i was like talking to this guy earlier was like how much ectoplasm you got i'm like i got none but you can already collect it <laughs> okay i gotta get out of here this is just way too high level yeah okay let's get out of here maybe Maybe I can start killing these guys over here. Hot and cold island, aka uh, Punk Hazard. Um, <laughs> what is this guy's level? 1,200. Okay, so these guys are 1,100, which is closer to what I'm looking for. 1,400, okay, that's way too high. Yes, okay, level 1,000, perfect. Okay, so this is the next area, I guess. Yeah, 1,000, okay. So let's see, I'll, go, I'll stack up against these guys with our new fighting style. Okay, so these guys have more range than the previous guys, so I gotta be a little bit more careful, but honestly, not so bad so far. Pretty good. Oh my God, guys. We're actually starting to get pretty close to level 200 mastery, which would mean that we unlock the next ability, which is going to be super sick. Okay, 199. One more level. Come on. Bang. Okay, one more. <laughs> and there it is, baby. Level 200. What is it? What, do, what are you trying to do? Kill me? I'll try my new ability on you. How about that, buddy? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I just took it. Dude, he died quickly. Dude, that is such a crazy ability. Oh my god. So you straight up like shoot out a bunch of fire like poof. Dude, that is sick. Bang. And it pushes them back and everything. Yeah, that's actually really nice for PvP as well. Damn. Okay. Well, guys, with that, I think we pretty much checked everything out, guys. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already, guys. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one, boys. Peace out, everyone. And bye-bye.